Hey friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 2 in Azure Data Explorer playlist. Before watching this video, I would encourage you to watch my previous video where I have given introduction about Data Explorer and this is continuation to it. In this video, we will be understanding basic workflow of Azure Data Explorer. Like when you work with Data Explorer, basically what kind of task you perform actually. So this is also like a theoretical video only. Uh, in our next video, we will cover how to create one data explorer resource. So if you see this diagram here, so this is how the Azure Data Explorer workflow will go actually. Uh, let me zoom a little bit here and let me show you. If you see here, the first step will be creating a database. Okay. So think like Azure Data Explorer is also like one database. If you are from SQL background, you know that you will have something called SQL Server and inside SQL Server, you will have SQL Database, right? So similarly, in Data Explorer, you have something called Cluster and inside Cluster, you will have something called Database, okay? So here, as I said, the first step will be creating a database and the second step will be ingesting data into that uh, Data Explorer database basically. If you closely observe, when you create a database, uh, usually you as a user, you will navigate to Azure portal and from the Azure portal, you create Data Explorer resource. So this part, whatever you are seeing, this is entire thing will come under Data Explorer resource actually. So inside Data Explorer, you will do your data management and you will have one Data Explorer engine that will run everything. That means running queries, and executing some commands and performing your analytics everything okay and if you see here closely and uh, you can use lot of resources to send uh, data into data explorer actually it can be blob storage it can be event hub it can be iot devices it can be grid event grid right from so many variety of the resources you can send your data into azure data explorer and once the data land here you can perform your query executions you can see here third step is query the database so why we will query the database so that we will see insights of our data if there is any certain event to which business has to be aware and perform some kind of operations or some kind of business decisions and all so to get a insights we basically execute queries on the database so this is the basic workflow so create a database and once you have a database ingest data into it and then finally query your database to get your insights okay so now uh, so if you see the slide, same thing what I described there, it was mentioned here. You can see here, firstly, you will be creating a database. Uh, and uh, as I said, in Data Explorer, you have something called cluster at a parent level. And inside cluster, you will have one or more databases. And there is a limit actually. For one da Azure Data Explorer account, you can have up to uh, 10,000 databases. Okay, So in one cluster, up to 10,000 databases you can have. And in each database, you can have up to 10,000 tables, okay? And one terminology, what you should be aware is extents. So extent is the one in which the data will be stored in the tables. So you store some data in the tables, right? The data will be stored in something called extents, which will be like a small pieces of data. You can think like that. So the terminology to use it here is extents, okay? And the second step will be ingest the data into that database. So first step ended, then second step will be ingesting the data. So here in Data Explorer, you will get some built-in wizards that will help you to ingest the data from various resources that we will see practically in our upcoming video also. Then the third step will be querying the database. And uh, as you know, the Kusto is the open source language which will be used to query the database and perform your analytics there. And this Kusto language, you can even embed your Python code also. That means you can write some logic in Python and you can embed that in this Kusto query language also, okay? It is very powerful query language. And finally, visualize the result. Whatever the result you got it from this query execution, you can visualize them. There are so many built-in visualizations available. And also you can build your own dashboards also there. So these are the like a basic workflow in Azure Data Explorer. All this we will be exploring in our upcoming videos, okay? So stay tuned. I hope you got an idea about basic workflow. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.